the stability of a complex coordination compounds this area i'm going to look into the stability of a complex in solution refers to the degree of association between the two species involved in the state of equilibrium the magnitude of the equilibrium constant for the association quantitatively expresses the stability if alpha is greater than 1 it's immiscible and alpha equal to 1 or alpha less than 1 it's miscible this is thermal states from unstable states it will go to thermal states that is measured in alpha thus if I have a reaction of the type a metal with a 4L 4 ligand molecule will form a metal with the ligands a metal with the ligands then the larger the stability constant, the higher the proportion of ML4 that exists in the solution. Free metal ion rarely exists in the solution so that M will usually be surrounded by solvent molecules. You are able to see it here. Which will compare with the ligand molecule L. For simplicity, we generally ignore the solvent molecules and write four stability constants. M with one ligand will form ML. ML with one ligand will form ML2. ML2 with one ligand will form ML3. And ML3 with one ligand will form ML4. Where K1, K2, K3 and K4 are the stability constant, we want to get, calculate the stability constant ML divided by M and L. ML2 divided by ML into L. And ML3 divided by ML2 divided by L. K3 and K4 equal to ML4 divided by ML3 into L. So for K1 and K2, these things are referred to as stepwise stability constants. So alternatively, we can write the overall stability constant as M plus 4L will give ML4. That is the arrow here. So beta 4 is equal to ML4 divided by ML power 4. The stepwise and overall stability constant are therefore related as follows. Beta 4 is equal to K1, K2, K3 and K4 or more generally. So for N, beta N is up to Kn. This is how the stability of coordination compounds. Let's see a typical example of a copper ion mixed with ammonia will give copra ammonium ion. So for K1, is equal to here is an example for the steps involved in the formation of a copper ammonium ion this is the equation you got your copper 2 plus ion copper ion mixed with ammonia will provide you copper ammonium ion where k1 is equal to Cu NS3 2 plus divided by Cu2 plus into NS3. Over here, I got the output of this one as input to this one, which provides a Cu NS3 of 2 plus 2. Where K2 is equal to Cu NS3 of 2 divided by C of NS3, this one, into this one. Where K1 and K2 are the stepwise stability constants and the overall stability constant can be written as 
For beta 4, it will be this one. If it is beta 2, you got 2 here. So, beta 4 is equal to CNS3 of 4, 2 plus divided by CU2 plus NS3 power 4. This is referred to as stability constants. The addition of the four amine groups to copper shows a pattern found for most formation constants. In that the successive stability constant decreases. Here are the four constants. Log K1 is equal to 4.0 and log K2 is equal to 3.2. K3 log is 2.7 and K4 log is 2.0 or log beta 4 is equal to 11.9 which is nothing but the summation of all the log k's. The instability constant or the dissociation constant of coordination compounds is defined as the reciprocal of the formation constant.